Please come in. Miss Van Zandt will see you in a moment. It's really stupid, Jess. It's April 3rd, Vinny. Roger died a year ago today. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I guess you two have a lot of catching up to do. Cozy little place. Looks like the set of our last video. I'll be right there, will you? gather to call the spiritual dimension. Channel their entities that we may know life everlasting. Clear your minds. Concentrate on the one that Jessica holds dear. The name of the deceased. Roger. Roger Sebastian. I call to the spirit of Roger Sebastian. Return to us, Roger. Cross over the dimensions of time and space and find the one who seeks you. Return to the realm of the living and make your presence known. I feel a spirit. I feel his presence, his energy filling the room. Peace of the things you may see, Jessica. Call to him. Roger. Hey, Jess. You look great. I, I said, said we'd be together for all eternity, didn't I? I guess I let you down. Roger. What? Of course I still love you. It wasn't your fault. Yes, I know, I know. I feel the same way, Roger. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't be upset, Jess. It's great here, really. It's heaven, I guess. I didn't mean for this to happen. Don't be upset, baby. Believe me, I forgive you. Really, I do. Wait! No, Roger, don't go, please! He's moved on. Look, I think we better cancel the next couple of shows. You're too strung out. I'm fine. You're fine. You just paid $2,000 for nothing, Jess. Nothing happened what in there. Mean? I saw him in there. Well, nobody else did. Look, Roger's dead, and nothing you do now is going to make any difference. It was my fault. Then get over it. You've got a band to run. so much more to say to you. Yeah, I, I bet, bet you, you did. I need a new song, Raj. Rewrite that solo, Raj. Be sure to be up for the show, Raj. You kill me, you bitch. No! I never made you take those pills. How else was I going to keep Jessica Francis on top? I said I was sorry. 
Roger, I love you. Please forgive me. I'll see you ride first. Elsa Van Sant. I remember that name. She's a celebrity medium, Mickey. No, no. Uh, something about one of her other clients dying. Why don't you guys check it out? I'm going to go and try and talk to Vinnie Rivera. Well, what's your hurry on this, Mickey? I always love Jessica's music. I just want to know what happened. Well. You're looking much better. Oh. <clears throat> I guess I was just really tired. You work too hard, darling. This has been happening every couple of weeks. Really? Don't you think you ought to see a doctor? <laughs> I'm so flattered you notice. I do notice. Ilsa, I'm not just some bimbo who mooches off you. Believe me, you've got to stop thinking that way. <laughs> I don't. Maybe we started out that way. But I care for you. William, it's OK. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I'm just fine. Too good for me. Your client list is a page out of the who's who. Lance Crawford, Princess Marina, fashion designer Jean Vieve. Well, we all want to know what lies beyond, don't we? I guess I've proven I can deliver spirits people want to meet. Jessica's band says that Roger died of a drug overdose, and Jessica felt that she pushed him too hard. Yeah, well, it's usually guilt that drives people to mediums in the first place, isn't it? Did you find out how she died? Yeah. Her TV shorted out. She was electrocuted. Eddie Neon, the did actor, who was one of her clients, he was electrocuted, too. Maybe we should pay Miss Van Zandt a visit. Yeah. May not be easy. That's a pretty exclusive clientele. Well... Last year, I bought a couple of dresses from Genevieve. 
I'll give her a call. We gather to call the spirit dimension. Channel their entities that we may know life everlasting. Clear your mind. Concentrate on your teacher, Jean-Pierre. I call the spirit of Martina, asking her to cross over the dimensions of time and space and find the one who seeks her. Sensation. Everybody's talking about it. I really hope I did you justice. Of course, of course you did. did. How could my, my favorite student, student be anything but brilliant? I, I just, I don't have anybody to inspire me anymore. I've run out of ideas. What should I do for fall? You have them wearing. Look closely, darling. My latest creation. Genevieve say she saw. We didn't get a chance to ask her. She took off as soon as it was over. Said she had to get back to her studio. Yeah, she's not faking it, Jack. I mean, she really believes she saw something. But you two saw and heard nothing. Ilsa said that the connection between Genevieve and her spirit was a private one. But that's just not true. Everything that's ever been written about spiritualism says very clearly that an apparition appears and speaks to everyone present during a seance. Well, that's what I thought, but it didn't happen this time. And Ilsa wouldn't talk about uh, Jessica Francis or Eddie Neon. She claimed she was too tired. I don't know what she's up to. I don't know. It could be a hoax. But there was definitely an energy in that room. Yeah, I felt it too. Maybe she's got the gift. She's not listed in there. Well, what do we do now? I guess we talk to Genevieve. She's the only one who can tell us what she saw. The studio's on Riverside. Let's go. Be careful. You shouldn't do this anymore. You're getting tired again. How do I keep you in the style you've grown accustomed to? You've got plenty of money. These seances, they take too much out of you. Ilsa, why don't you take some time off? You should just stay up here with me. All the time. I wish I could. Maybe we should go somewhere this weekend. Someplace warm. You could catch up on your rest. We could both get a tan. We never go anywhere. We never do anything. Well. Aren't you coming to bed? Martina. Sleep. 
think I have another hit on my hand. Why should I tell you? So you can steal another idea. I trusted you, but I wasn't even cold before you were selling my drawings as your own. You're a thief. I didn't think you'd mind. You didn't think I'd know. Your own work was garbage. All you wanted from me was another chance to steal. What's to what happen? What's changed? What's changed? Why are you betraying me? This is unfair. This is not fair. No. <laughs> I think Ilsa must have a cursed object. She seems to be getting fame and fortune. Well, something certainly seems to be driving her. Maybe it's uh, something sinister. But how do we find out what it is? The amazing Jandini. Who? Hmm? Robert Jandini. He and I used to have a magic act. And lately, he's, he's made a vocation out of debunking spiritualists. I sure hope he can fly in. If anybody can expose a phony, he certainly can. You've always given me ten days, always. Before, without fail, what's changed? Am I in some new danger? There must be something I can do. There are two men here to see you if they want a seance. Make an appointment. They say it has to be now. Uh, gentlemen. Miss Van Zandt, uh, Richard Whittington, and my associate, Jack Marshak. It's a pleasure to meet you. I usually don't take clients on such short notice. Uh, Mr. Marshak and I don't uh, hold much by uh, what you do, Miss Van Zandt, but uh, we need to contact someone immediately. We'll pay for the inconvenience. And I will pay if I don't go to the trouble, is that it? I wouldn't be much of a medium if I didn't know Robert Giandini. Is Marshak your real name? 
I'm not 100% perfect, you know. My specialty is antiques. Uh, Mr. Marshak is a student of the occult. I have brought him along to assist me. Ah, assist you in exposing me as a fraud. Uh, if you refuse to hold a seance for us, Miss Van Zandt, uh, I could make it very public. Uh, I'm afraid that might have quite an effect on your uh, income. Actually, I was wondering what kept you so long. I've been a little hurt you hadn't come sooner. I'm sure you'd like to inspect the room first. Of course. Be my guest. She's very cool. Yeah, all the good ones are, at first. You've been over the room twice, Mr. Giandini. No trap doors, no mirrors, no hidden projectors, correct? No, there aren't. Then shall we begin? He stays here. You're staying here where we can see you. I've never done this before. There's a first time for everything. Perhaps you'd like to sit there so you can keep an eye on me. We gather to call the spiritual dimension. Channel their entities that we may know life everlasting. The name of the deceased. Well, let's just see who pops out of the woodwork. I call on the dead known to Robert Chandini. Come, spirits. Cross over the dimensions of time and space and find our gathering. Find us, spirits. Show the truth to this non-believer. We seek someone dear to his heart. Someone he seeks to counsel after death. I feel a spiritual force approaching. Time, son. Oh, my God. I, I've missed you, too. Are you coming to us soon? Mama, oh, he's still a young man. It's just been such a long time since we've seen you, Robert. I'm sorry. I, I know I should have been around more, but... but uh, it's been so lonely without you. We have a lot to talk about when you do come. You'll like it here. Oh, God. Oh, my God. She's legitimate, Jack, no question. Well, Robert, I didn't see or hear anything. You didn't? But it had to be real. A direct spiritual connection between me and the afterlife really was your parents, hmm? Exactly as I remember them. I've never told anyone this. I more or less abandoned them when they needed me most. I've always felt guilty about it. I can't tell you how much weight she's lifted from me, Jack. That seance let me know that I was forgiven.
<laughs> Maybe they were. Young son, I've never asked before. Can you teach me to do it? <sighs> Maybe I can help you. You already do enough, Dad. Still, I'd love to learn. William, please. What's beyond death is far less important than living. <laughs> but it's No, not... William, please. What's here is important. Life is far more precious than anything to come, whatever it is. You remember that. Death comes soon enough. Most people don't realize how soon. Go to bed. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'll be up shortly. on the parents of Robert John Deagle. It's time, I think, you tell him what you really feel. Jack, that's exactly what Johnny and I experienced. And did you find him? Yeah. Up until five years ago, Ilsa was not only an unknown medium, she was unknown, period. Well, keep looking, Mickey. I'd better stay with Robert. We'll be back at his hotel in about an hour. Right. What's that? From Lewis's files, books on spiritualism. Talking with the Dead by Ellie Robinson. Yeah, they're all written by her. Lewis must have been an admirer, huh? Anyway, the last one was published in 1984. 1984 is our first records of Ilsa. To be a connection. I'm not sure about any of this. Whether it's a cursed object, how she does what she does. Yeah. Well, we know that some of our clients are dying. I got one of my cop buddies pulling Eddie Neon's file. Maybe that can tell us something. Yeah, good idea. Where is she? thing bothers me, Robert. Look, I, I mean, a seance is supposed to start with a prayer of protection. Yeah, I mean, Ilsa didn't use one. It's as if she didn't care if an evil spirit came by. Spirits I saw weren't evil. You wouldn't believe what I saw. Well, humor me, Robert. There was, there was this light. It seemed to come from the... Is this how you spent the time you could have spent with us? You are a weakness, son. Papa? Abandon us! You left us to die, alone! I, I, I didn't mean to. Papa, there's nothing there. You broke your mother's heart. You destroyed our lives! No, no, please. I, I never knew. It was too late. You killed us long before we died. No. No. Mama? What kind of son treats his parents like dirt? We wasted away. And you didn't care. Oh, you, you've got to believe me. If I'd known you were sick, I would have... Robert. Mama. Robert. Papa. You turned your back on us when we needed you the most. Come on. Keep on yourself. No, you are. I was no interest. Mama! Oh, Papa! Come on! Here, here, get yourself. Come on! Mom! Pay for those drinks first, huh? Do this to me. 
Now kill him. You can't hide anymore. Don't do this to me. You deserve to suffer like we did. He only knows how to hurt people. I wish we never had you. No! Robert! Freak! It's all right. The forensics report says that Eddie Neon was electrocuted when his TV fell into the pool. Then all the deaths are connected with televisions. Wait a second. There's something in the middle here. Got it. 1950s model black and white TV. Who bought it, Ellie Robinson? No, it was donated by Lewis to a convalescent home in Bainbridge. Only the nursing staff will be on duty at this hour. And well, we can call first thing in the morning. Or we can drive out. Be back by then. Get the car. I'll call Jack. Ilsa? I have to go out for a while. Where? There's really nothing for you to be concerned about. Ilsa. Oh, really? Something... I'll be back as soon as I can. Just stay here. All right. What's happening to me, Jack? They're everywhere I turn. Just calm yourself. You'll be okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go! Hello. Hello! They won't leave me alone. They're gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. Get a hold of yourself, Robert. I want you to think back. What did you see in that room? I know what I saw. They're never going to leave me alone. Ever. <laughs> Hello. This is Jack Marshall, please. Oh, you're yeah, speaking. This is the front desk. There's an urgent letter. Curious goods antiques. But you'll have to pick it up personally from the doorman. Oh, yeah, uh, thank you. I'll be right down. I have to go downstairs, Robert. If Mickey may have found something. No, don't. I'll be right back. Just don't leave this room, huh? Miss Van Zandt. I came to see how you were. Oh, thank God you're here. Something has gone wrong. My parents. No, no, no. They're only trying to explain something to you. You can't run from us anymore. You must not we give you everything. You can't leave us the rock this time. Go away. Make them go away, please. You're burning hell for what you We'll see you get what you deserve. Leave me alone. Look at what you did to us. We'll never forgive you. Never. 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 No. Go to them.
hurry. I'm running out of time. I gave you the one I wanted you. Now give me the time. No! No! Ilsa, what's wrong? Nothing, leave me alone. Ilsa, please. Please. We're in this together. No, we die alone, so alone. Ilsa. <gasps> I'm dying, William. Let me get you to a doctor. Ilsa, I don't know what's going on, but I followed you to the hotel. I was there when Jandini died. You don't know anything in the past that happened. This is the day I die. No, please. Let me help you. There must be something we can do. I have to kill Jack to our shock. Of course, I should have killed them both. Fault. I'm entirely to blame. I got him involved in this. Wait! Elsa's real name is Ellie Robinson. It's a good medium, but not a great one. Lewis had the TV delivered to a convalescent home where she was dying. Dying? Yeah. She had some degenerative disease. Her body was literally falling to pieces. Doctors gave her a week, ten days the most to live. And then she got her miracle cure. So you see, Lewis knew what the set could possibly give her. But we still don't know how she's using it. She might have killed Jandini because she could expose her, which means she can come after you now. I'll save her the trick. Well, damn it, Jack! You're only thinking of yourself! I'm doing this for Jandini! No, you're not! You're doing this out of your own guilt, just like all the others she's killed. Look, just stay here. Mickey and I'll get the TV. Get her, Jack. Let's do it the right way. If she knew we were on to her, she might have skipped town. Oh, she didn't run when Jandini went after her. Jack. She's taking it to Jack. You get the car, I'll try and warn him. All right. Hello? Hello? I thought it was time you had a talk with an old friend. We got it. You call the spiritual dimension. Channel their entities that we may know. Life everlasting. He was my friend. He wouldn't betray me. Oh, we'll see. I 
corn spirit Robert Chandy. Jack, old friend. Robert, in the flesh, so to speak. I suppose if you hadn't gotten me involved in this, I'd be alive now, wouldn't I? No! You're a real pal, Jack. You've spent all your life searching for what's beyond death, Mr. Marshak. Here it is. Oh, it isn't real. Open your eyes. You want to see it? You want to see what eternity holds? Come on. Come on, old pal. The old act is the same without you. Robert, please! Oh, you gotta come to me. Okay. Then I'll come to you. Make you a pot of tea and let you veg out in front of the TV. Do you think that you saw Jandini's spirit? Yo, I don't think so. I'm sure that Ilsa used the TV to twist reality and show people things she needed them to see. And in return, it let her escape death. That's a pretty tough offer to refuse. Well, we all run away from death, we can't escape. You know, the Arabian Nights had a story about a servant who saw death across the marketplace, and he begged his master to be allowed to hide across the desert over in Baghdad. The master agreed. And then he sought out death to reprimand him for scaring his servant. And death apologized and said, but I was surprised to see him. I thought we had an appointment tonight in Baghdad. Mm -hmm. 